Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host AMF1534 here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Grand Theft Auto 3. So in the last episode, we took our chance at helping uh, break a prisoner out of jail, and it proved to not work very well. <laughs> and by not very well, I mean it actually went the worst way that it could possibly go. In the sense that we broke him out of jail, and I got in an armored police car, and we were driving on the freeway, taking him back to uh, the destination point. And somehow I clipped the side of like a little Jeep Cherokee, like that one that I just drove by. I hit like the side mirror of that thing. And my car flipped over completely, and everything went down to hell in a handbasket on the 4th of July when it was lit on fire by pygmies from Jamaica. That's how that went. It was just like I, I ran across the freeway trying to, trying to find another car to get in to try to maybe salvage it while I had like all sorts of cops running after me and it just didn't work so we know what we're supposed to do we got to steal a cop car we're gonna go you know try to get that whole scenario figured out we got to go all the way across the bridge since that don't seems to be the only place that we can really find cop cars for one reason or another there just don't seem to be any on this side of the world so we just got to go over there and get one so that is what I plan on doing. You'll have to pardon me if I don't seem to have a... Oh, there's one right here. Hey! Oh. And he's going to get out of that car. I'm going to run his ass over. And I'm going to hurry up and go. Go, Claude! Go! Okay. So, I actually worked a lot faster than normal. Like, I, I couldn't find one of these to save my life last time. I had to literally drive all the way back over to the other side of the world to go get one of these. So this is, this is like, this is awesome. And for some reason this car is just like not working with me right now. It's like not turning very well. Okay, there we go. Now, now everything's okay. But yeah, it was weird. Like, you'll have to pardon if you, you know, if my voice doesn't sound like I'm very, you know, alive today. Because I'm really not. I actually am incredibly tired. I've been working, I've been working like normal shifts, but I've, you know, I've worked, you know, every day this week so far and I'm going to have to work tomorrow too because uh, the uh, the girl called in with like a kind of, well, it's kind of like a medical condition not like something serious but she has like this weird like hip condition type deal I guess you could put it where like her hips like pop out of they like pop out of joint ever so often and then she has to like go see a chiropractor and get it fixed but the chiropractor is not in until Monday so she can't get it you know dealt with so I, being the only other person available, must work that day. Oh, there's the pay-in spray right there. Okay, that's good to know. That's very good to know. And there is a hidden package right there. So I'm going to pick that up. I understand that I need a cop car to do the job, which is exactly why I've got the cop car to do the job. That was the... <laughs> wow! That was the best, like, swerve out of the thing that I've ever done. That was so awesome. It was like right around that guy as he was trying to, you know, get all up in my corn pops. It was great. So yeah, if, if I if I seem kind of just, you know, sort of nondescript about everything, it's because that's totally how it is. Uh, oh, I had this. I had. I got to tell you about this customer that came in today. She's like one of my regulars, and so like whenever she talks about things, it's pretty. It's pretty normal for everything. Ah, no. Oh god, this is gonna be this is gonna be bad. This is not going to go over the way that I initially had it go over last time. My car is gonna like blow up and all this stuff. Oh boy. Let me see if I can kind of give him the old 50 yard fake out or something. I'm, just gonna, I'm trying to get him away from from where they were so I can get back in the in the thing. Oh no! Pit maneuver didn't work out. Go 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 Claude go! Jeez, these guys are freaking maniacs. Maniacs, for those of you that didn't really pick up on that. <laughs> Go! These guys are totally going to come kill me. That's just what it comes down to. Get out. Go get the armored car right now. Oh, God. Okay, as long as they can't get back here, then I'm okay. Okay, they can't get back here. There's another one of these. Two hidden package. Come on, buddy. Ugh, oh, a crackly noise. I'm sorry about that, guys. I know it's probably really, really annoying for you guys to listen to. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get this armored truck again. They shouldn't be able to flip it over like last time, because that was really stupid. 
So this lady that comes in, she's one of my regulars. Like, she comes in all the time, and she always talks about all this, all this random stuff that literally doesn't pertain to anything. Because, like, I'm pretty sure that she's like, well, she's a raging alcoholic. So that obviously explains, like, half of it right there. I need to get this up there! Thank you! Okay, so we need to get to that pay and spray. Like, right now. That would be, that'd be very, very beneficial to our lives. The fabric of our lives. Okay, so let's just follow this way. This is exactly where things went wrong last time. So I'm really hoping that it doesn't go this way this time. Okay, so she comes in and she... What are you doing? Uh, these guys. Just get out of my way. Okay, we're automatically doing better than last time. Because last time we didn't even get across this bridge. So... You know, where she comes in talking, and she always, like, she's always got this, she's got, like, this weird obsession with mercury. Like, she, she thinks that everything, like, every medical ailment known to man, and just, like, anything that ever happens is a byproduct of people having too much mercury in their bodies. From, like, mercury fillings or whatever, I don't even care. Oh, what? Oh, that sucks. Well, this is bad, so I need to get in a different car, then. Well, let's get a different car, then. There's probably going to be one around here somewhere, as there are parking garages everywhere. There's definitely a van that I saw back here. That might be good. That would be something that we could get into. Come on. Come on. There we go. Jump on in, random Asian guy. Come on. Come on. Are you in there? Did you get in? You did not get in. Why did you not get in? They know I'm right here. Jeez. Yeah, we're gonna minivan this thing out right now. But they're not gonna be able to find us because we're gonna go spray the vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's up. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So, pretty much, now that we can actually drive safely. So, pretty much, um, she comes in and she's like talking about, like, first of all, she's talking about, like, She's like trying to talk to my dad on going halvesies with buying a laundromat so that she can sell this weird like this weird bone building tea product that she's been, you know, concocting in her kitchen. But this first of all, the building for this laundromat is like seven hundred thousand dollars. Because I I, I'm, I don't I don't even know where it is, but it must be a pretty sizable place for it to be that damn expensive. It's gotta be I mean it's gotta be pretty big. And he's like, so so if you're trying to buy this place exactly why did it close like if it's seven hundred thousand dollars why did it close and why why do you think why do you think that you like you know why do you think that buying this place is going to do you any good like for what reasoning would you trying to sell health supplements out of a laundromat would be a good idea she's like but there's always people there she's like, there's always people everywhere you go I mean <laughs> selling nobody's I mean people if anything would be like super weirded out by you you know trying to sell them things while they're getting you know while they're dry cleaning their you know their size 38 underwear you know listening to really crappy ass music while they're doing their laundry nobody nobody wants to be sold things while they're at the laundromat it's just that's not what people want Is there water down there what's what's, what's going on with this hi yo yeah I'm not gonna do that trying to take the expressway down there right now and I'm trying to find a way to do it without really having to oh, hey there we go it's not quite how I envisioned that going run Claude run there we go everything's all hunky-dory now still not entirely the way I wanted to do that I just wanted to get down to Asuka's place here go figure there are now no cars in this area so, but if I jump down there, then it's going to probably kill me. So, ah! Yeah, give me this. I just want to... Ooh, nice interior. You, my friend, are probably a pimp. Especially when your car is called the Yardy Lobo. He probably went to New Me to the University of New Mexico. Because they're the Lobos. It's just a weird name of an animal. A Lobo. Alright, let's see what we got here. Paparazzi purge. We're going to go kill cameramen. Cool. At the well, request of my viewers, I need to shut up, so. Marie and I have taken a little holiday together until you can get rid of this perverted voyeur. He's probably out in the bay as you read this. Steal a police boat and sink his career. Cool. 
I get to steal a police boat and go kill a guy out on a boat. I mean, this sounds like fun. There he is. Alright, well, let's just head on down. Because there's this obviously always going to be the correct vehicle that you need over here. So I gotta get in that one? Why do I have to get in that one? I don't wanna get in. Why can't I just use this one? This one's pretty beefy looking. Whatever. So, what the fuck are you doing? Just like standing there sideways. I don't know what's going on. I'm Claude. Oh, so back, you know, back to this, back to this lady. So, um, ah, no, get up there. Okay. So she's sitting here talking to me, saying, you know, that, well, she's talking about like speeding tickets or something, and like, you know, asking me if, you know, so and so, like, if reckless driving is considered a major offense, which obviously it is. I don't know for what would think make you think that it's not. So, you know, she's trying, she's doing that, and then she's, like, talking to me about, like, how the speeding tickets that I had back when I was in high school were a result of the fact that I have a high-carbohydrate diet, and that having mercury, uh, having mercury in my colon was, you know, was, oh, there we go, having mercury in my colon caused, you know, me to fabricate thoughts in my brain that made me want to drive my car faster so that I wouldn't be late for business meetings. And that's what made me, that's what made me get my speeding tickets, which is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I was like, Rosanna, I, me having a high carbohydrate diet has nothing to do with my desire to speed. I mean, it's, that's, that's purely in your brain. She's like, well, well, having the mercury build up from the carbohydrates in the food sends signals to your brain that throw off your regular thinking patterns that, that just, they make you, they make you want to do things like that. It's like, no, they don't. The fact that I was supposed to pick up the guy, I was supposed to pick up one of my other co-workers, and he ended up getting picked up by somebody else and nobody told me, and so that I was going to be the last one to the meeting, that's what made me late, and that's what gave me the incentive to want to drive like a, like my, you know, like I was a chicken with my head cut off. That is the reason why. Not, not because, you know, I like to have a carbohydrate-rich diet. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. So you mean to tell me that every fat person has... You know, every fat person out there, because they eat a lot of carbs, has the, you know, the urge to drive fast. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. He's gonna die. Oh. Oh, I know. Yeah, we're out of... Hey! There we go. See, I saw I saw a fire being put out there because he was in the water, but apparently I must have punctured the gas thing. Okay, so I am now on the other side of the world, and I apparently can't turn this boat anymore. Okay, well, let's go jump on the beach there. I didn't realize that we're pretty much out of time. I mean, I have woken up a little bit, which is definitely a plus. Hey, there we go. Well, how about that? That was that worked ever so awesome. This is actually this is the best episode, like, progress-wise that we've made in a while. Because it seems like every single time I do an episode nowadays, I always have to die in some fiery fluke explosion or, you know, the person that I'm supposed to protect gets, you know, run over by the car I'm driving, i.e. last episode, because that ended great. So, you know, it was just a... So I, I had an interesting day today. That lady is just a freaking pile of crap. She is... She has so many crackpot theories about everything, about how, like, you know, the government's tapping her phone lines and, you know and everything's linked to Mercury and all this, like, she has a new theory about stuff that, you know, that she needs to do and things that we need to carry and, like, you know, like, she always, like, asks, like, how many Mercury fillings my dad had in his mouth when he was younger and, like, all this random stuff. It's like, you need to, you need to, you need to lay off the extra shots of whiskey late at night and maybe, like, you know, some of the other things you've been taking, like methamphetamine, possibly. Like, she's got to be doing some other type of drug. I don't even know, because, like, she, she she always has these weird sores on her face that she's always picking at. But, like, I can't tell what it is. Like, I can't tell whether that's just because she's crazy, like, physically insane, or if, you know, it's something else. I, I just, I can't figure it out. But I'm going to have to cut this episode short, even though short means that it's actually been a regular length episode. So when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 3, we're going to go back across the bridge and maybe uh, we got some phone, we got some more phone missions to do. We can do uh, maybe like a Suka or maybe another Kenji mission. So we got all sorts of options, but I'm going to go take a hot shower because I just, I feel kind of, eh, you know. So this is AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.
And let me just save here. So yeah, you guys take care and I'll see you later. Bye.